Good morning. It is Saturday morning. Where I'm out of Business Christian, and I'm playing around with Fusion for Six again, making a small challenge for you. If you're interested in more challenges, please leave a comment and tell me what you like to see. And if there's something wrong in some part of the drawing, please leave a comment and I'll update the drawing. I'll like try to update the link so you can find if I've missed some dimensions. I think I got them all there. And the dimensions are not that important in this model. This is like a smaller parametric thinking model. This is one of those hexagons toys. The dimensions aren't really good. I have no fillers. You can add those if you want afterwards. This is just the basic model. And here is the drawing. Let's have a look at the full drawing. You can see the hexagon from the tops and from the side. Uh, some dimensions. It's uh, the center hexagon higher inside uh, empty space is 10 millimeters. Uh, this is the dimension I'm looking for. And it's 10 millimeters high. The edge out here is 130 degrees. Uh, and uh, the horizontal width, uh, the 10 parts, there's a 10 bodies, is 1.2 millimeters. And the gap in between, of course, is one less. So there's 9 times uh, uh, 0.6 millimeters. So that's the gap. And the challenge is like to basically do the model and find the dimension W, which is from the inside edge here to the furthest outmost edge, like this point here to here, but the horizontal dimension. You should be able to get that in, the, in Fusion in a couple of different ways, up to you want to do it. And if we want a second step of a challenge, uh, make the model fully parametric and change number of bodies. So if you change the number of bodies to 7, you get different, and you change them to 12, you get a different dimension. Now let's that look in Fusion. Yes, we have a model here now. Of course, I've hidden my timeline, but if for information, you want to do it. I have two sketches and six features to create this fully parametric. I'm running it from a parameter up here. Only shown one, that's the number of bodies. So if I want to change this now, I want seven bodies. It reduces to seven bodies, no problem. I update the model. If I want 12, I can do that. And I can even make more than that. I can do 20, even it takes a bit of time for Fusion to do the calculation and thinking. So you see, it pops off the bodies here, no problem. They are individual bodies and they are not connected anyway. So uh, this is the small challenge for October 2021. I hope you will enjoy it and play around with it. If you get totally confused, don't be afraid to ask questions. But always, please do not tell everybody immediately, this is how you do it. I know how to do it. Yes, so do I, because I made a model. But give people some time to find the solution themselves. That's how, at least me, my personal experience, that's the best way I learn things. And I hope uh, other people can have the same way. So I said, have fun with this. Take care. See you around. And... Goodbye.